told you that every time you play a game of rock, paper, scissors, you're actually carrying out some relatively abstract mathematics, would you be more or less interested in playing it? It turns out that rock, paper, scissors, the uh, algebra of it, if you will, actually violates something that we call, and I'll explain this in a moment, associativity. And it's such a benign, obvious fact of the numbers we work with every day, uh, you might even find it strange that we would give such a name as associativity. It doesn't even seem like a concept worth naming. Uh, but as I'm about to show you, rock, paper, scissors actually breaks these rules of mathematics. So the first thing we should do is take a look at a table of different possible rock, paper, scissors games. So here I've made a table where the top I have rock, paper, scissors, the side I have rock, paper, scissors, and uh, in the filling in the grids of the table, I'm going to write out the result of what happens when uh, either of these two verse each other. Now, for rock versus rock, paper versus paper, scissors versus scissors, those are all a tie. So, I mean, I could fill it in with whatever. I could just write tie, but just to keep it to the symbols we have, I'm going to write it as uh, rock versus rock is rock, because in some sense they both win. Paper versus paper is paper, scissors versus scissors is scissors. Now, rock versus paper, as we know, paper covers rock. And a rock versus scissors, as we know, uh, rock versus scissors, rock wins. Now, paper versus rock, uh, again, paper covers rock. Paper versus scissors, this time scissors wins, because scissors cuts paper. And then finally, we, at the bottom, we have scissors versus rock, which we know rock uh, breaks the scissors. Scissors versus paper, uh, scissors cuts the paper. And now we have our table all filled out. Okay, so what does this term associativity uh, mean, and why does this break it? So before we turn to how rock, paper, scissors defies this law, let's look at what this law means for the natural numbers, numbers that we used to count with every day. Suppose I was to look at the following operation. I had 1 plus, and then in parentheses, 2 plus 3. Well, we know from our bed mass, ped mass, uh, however you pronounce it, uh, we do the operation in the brackets first, so I get uh, 2 plus 3, so I have 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 5, and then I have 1 plus 5 is equal to 6, right? Uh, now, if I change the order of these brackets, I get 1 plus 2 plus 3, so let's suppose I did uh, 1 plus 2 first this time, so I would get 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, so I'm left with 3 plus 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So these two answers agree. In other words, 1 plus 2 plus 3 and 1 plus 2 plus 3 are the same thing. This is what it means to be associative. It just means that we can switch these parentheses around. And like I said, you might think, well, yeah, duh, it doesn't matter if I give you... Uh, 2 and 3 dollars first, and then 1 dollar, or if I give you two, 1 and 2 dollars first, and then three dollars, it's still the same total amount. Why even bother naming this concept? Let's take a look at what happens for rock, paper, scissors. Suppose I were to have rock versus paper in parentheses and then versus scissors. Well, rock versus paper, we know from our table that paper covers rock, so paper wins, and I'm left with paper versus scissors, but then scissors cuts paper, so scissors wins. Now, if I was to switch the order, though, look what happens. If I do rock versus paper versus scissors, then this tells me I have to do paper versus scissors first. So scissors cuts paper, and I'm left with rock versus scissors, and then rock versus scissors. Well, rock beats scissors, so I'm left with rock. But look, there's a difference here. Scissors and rock are not the same. So, well, for ordinary everyday numbers, we know that two, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. It is not true that rock versus paper versus scissors is equal to rock versus paper versus scissors. This isn't the only place where non-associative things come up. It's not just special to the game of rock, paper, scissors. Mathematicians study these objects, uh, in particular things called non-associative algebras, where we can do things like addition and multiplication, but then things like associativity uh, go all wonky and they no longer work. And as I hope this example shows you, it's not just, you know, 
endless, mindless exercises for no apparent reason, it, it is connected to actual physical things. In fact, uh, you know, the most famous example is uh, called the Octonians, and that even has some connections to uh, physics and uh, various other things in the real world. So I hope you enjoy this video, and with any luck I've uh, convinced you to maybe watch some other more abstract videos, and perhaps I'll get into some non-associative algebras at some point. Thanks.